Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range. Award-winning chef and author of Perfectly Easy Indian Food, Shanaz Ayub, brings you a cooking show dedicated to global cuisine because it's all for the love of food. I'm Shanaz Ayub, and for me, it's all about easy cooking. Comfort recipes that you can cook at home, when you have time, and when you haven't. Mouth-watering meals shouldn't take that long to make. Asalaamu Alaikum, hello and welcome to For the Love of Food. I'm your host Shanaz Ayub and I'm going to take you on that journey and introduce you to fruits and flavours around the world and make them really simple so that you can make these dishes in a matter of moments. And joining me, as usual, two guests, very special guests today. The first one, a former jazz artist, a current Nasheed artist with almost a million hits on her YouTube channel, it's Salwa Najam. Salaikum Salwa. <laughs> Such a pleasure to have you. Thank you Thank so much. You. Lovely. Have a seat. And while my first guest is cleaning her hands, I will introduce you to my next guest. He has appeared on mainstream television on shows such as Make Bradford British and A Very British Ramadan. What a mouthful. <laughs> I'm very pleased to introduce my next guest, Rashid Khan. Asalaamu Alaikum Rashid. Come in, come in. Come and join me in my kitchen. Rashid, nice kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm <laughs> fine, thank you. How I are you? I won't shake your hand because I don't know if you shake hands or not. No, we don't shake because <laughs> if you don't mind. But I am going to get you to do something else with your hands and that's wash them. Yes. We are going to be eating fish. And not any kind of fish. This is Goan style fish. It's something very, very special. Mm -hmm. Because in Goa, South India, they are very passionate about their fish curries, of course, aren't they? And being on the coastal region, you get all different kinds of fish. Today, I'm using cod because, of course, in this country, it's readily available. But the taste and the flavors that come out of those um, dishes that they create are amazing. And that's what I'm gonna try and create for you here today. Happy with that? Mm. Right, now, don't think you're here on holiday. You're gonna be doing some chopping as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, Salwa, I'm gonna get you, please, to um, okay. chop the red pepper, but not finely. We're looking for sort of like um, one inch pieces. <laughs> Is that a bit specific? <laughs> I'm going go. for one inch pieces. And um, over there, not yet, I'm going to get you to wait for a while. So I can be kept busy and then I'm going to get you to do something in a little while. Mm. So what do we have here? We have about a, a pound of cod pieces, which I've had chopped up as well. Now these you can see are on the skin. And the reason why I keep them on the skin is because if you don't have them on the skin, they'll come away and they'll start collapsing in the dish. And what you'll end up is with shredded fish, which is what we don't want. We want nice solid pieces. And because they're so tender, we add them at the end, okay? What else do we have here? We've got an onion that I'm about to add. We've got ground cumin, ground coriander, garlic and ginger paste, mm. garlic and ginger, which I've used in equal portions, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of ginger, pulped them both together, and that's the result. A real store cut, a fridge, I'll say a store cupboard, but a real fridge necessity when you do this sort of cooking. Mm. We've got about three quarters of a tin, a normal 500 gram tin of um, chopped to plum tomatoes there, turmeric, otherwise known as haldi, which adds the colour, a bit of the flavour, but it mostly um, is there for the colour. We've got chilli flakes here and we've got tamarind as well. Now tamarind is, that's the pulp of the tamarind and I'll talk more about that in a second. Let's just get this frying first. So we have our onions in about, I'd say, two tablespoons of normal vegetable oil, which I'm about to slice. You're doing a fine job there. <laughs> Something you've done before? <laughs> a few times. <laughs> How are we with cooking in the kitchen, Salwa? Um, 
Alhamdulillah, both my parents enjoy cooking, so maybe uh, I grew up with it. So I, I enjoy it. I, I attempt to cook some desi food. Excellent. But it's a bit sort of, uh, you know, gori desi, as they call it. Okay, well, this is interesting. Let's talk about this because you are a revert. I am. So explain your background. Um, well, I'm not from any uh, particular religious background as such. My uh, upbringing was very sort of open. However, I, I did study the Bible for a while. I had a lot of friends in church who were trying to um, convince me to become a Christian. Uh -huh. Didn't quite get convinced. And then I found the Quran and uh, I started reading the book. And I attended an online study class and asked questions for about nine months to a year. Every day I would ring up and just ask questions. Wow. Questions. And I just found all the answers. The, the, the Quran gave me all the answers. All the answers and then, and then I asked the teacher, what do I do now? And uh, he, he, he said, you have to, you have to say Shahada. So I said, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range. Have you come across, um, yeah, obviously, people in your line of work as well? What is what is your um, job, so to speak, your, your regular job? Because I know you've appeared on mainstream television mm. and you've fallen into the media um, and we'll go into what how that happened, but exactly how, um, uh, what advice would you give to people who are struggling? Because you deal with members of the public, mm. possibly people that are struggling with their own identities. Well, I um, help people with substance misuse issues, um, mainly drug and alcohol, mm. mainly drug and alcohol. Um, what is we do a, like a triage assessment with individuals if they've got issues. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you know, we all, we've all got weaknesses and there's always a trigger, um, you know, that starts it off and we've got to be non-judgmental in our approach, um, good listeners. Uh, you know, we've got to sort of be, be someone they can trust uh, and then so they can open up. And everyone's got a story to tell. And I think everyone in the world, you know, maybe has got some kind of issue, whether it's physical, mental, through family, through friends, you know. We've all got some kind of issue. And it's so important to speak to someone, you know, who we trust and who we can, you know, who can give us the right advice. Let me go back to this dish because my onions are now done. Um, I've just let them go slightly light brown, but I'm going to start adding my spices now. So these spices consist of mustard seeds. Um, I'm going to be just adding a little bit of that. That gives a really mm. nice crunch the moment you mm. add them and they add a real flavour of those of the mustard seeds. They add a real mustardy flavour to the dish as well. So probably about um, a, te a teaspoon of them. Um, and then to that also, we're going to be adding a little bit of salt. Mm. To this I'm adding also the garlic and ginger paste that I was telling you about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Now this is a must in all our cooking. I've got about a tablespoon of that that I've just added in there. Because don't forget, fish is quite an insipid thing, isn't it? It's an insipid meat. I'd like to call it a meat. It is, in a way. Yeah, it, it, is, it can yeah. be quite meaty. Mm. Um, and uh, because it's insipid, it just soaks in flavours of its surroundings quite easily. It smells delicious. Oh, it gets better so well. <laughs> So then I've got a teaspoon of turmeric there, that's going to give it its colour. Mm. Um, I'm going to add a little um, a little bit of chilli flakes, only because I'm going to get you to chop some chillies in the stuff. Oh yeah, I got the best job <laughs> yeah. I thought so you were going to get me to do the onions. Just a tiny bit there. No, 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 no. We saved the best for you. <laughs> <laughs> and also paneer powder. This is coriander powder. Mm. Okay, so I've added the cumin powder and I'm going to add the coriander powder. Yeah. And probably just about a teaspoon of that. See, I measure it so meticulously. <laughs> this is, comes, this all comes with practice. You know, just, it's, it's what I have always seen my mother do, my grandmother do. It's just like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And that. Nobody is ever precise. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes now. Okay, so that goes in and we're just going to let that 
Simmer. Simmer. That was the word I was looking for. It's going a bit higher than simmer though, isn't it? I, I learned that cook, you know, when I was uh, living alone a few years ago. Um, so you learned how Well, to I cook. learned how to cook, yeah. I used to do, I used to do three things at once. That's when I was in Hertfordshire, actually. Uh, and I was 18, about five years ago. <laughs> it's amazing what necessity makes you end up doing yeah. in the end, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, can I just ask you to pass me that pan and then you can carry on yeah, with your yeah, story. Yeah. I'm going to start the rice, otherwise it's going to take too long to cook. Yeah, and well, then it is lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> so you did find actually that it was necessity. Well, um, I mean, the thing was, either it was takeaways or thought, you know what, let me give it a crack, you know what I mean? And then, bless me mum, you know, she, it, and it's simple, it's just browning the onions. The way, people do it different ways, don't they? I just brown the onions um, and then put, but I have to measure, I can't do what you do, obviously I'm not as experienced as yourself. <laughs> a tablespoon of the, all the powders. And, and there's a thing called balsamics, where you get it all mixed together. So mm. I, I usually use two tablespoons of that. Tomato, I simmer that for a while. I think the main thing, what I found is, if the masala's good, the curry's going to be good. Oh, of course, that's the key. And it's yeah. patience. So true. That's very yeah. true. It's patience. Yeah. And it's like this, for example, where the oil has to separate from the mixture. The moment the oil separates from the mixture, you know that your base curry is done. Oh, I didn't know that. Never put anything yeah. in before that. Right, in here, yeah. I'm going to be cooking my rice. So rice yeah. is quite simple. There's a cup of rice there. And to that, one cup of rice goes two cups of water each time. Um, so we're going to let that cook. Basically, it's science. Well, <laughs> it is, it is. And it's not rocket science either, is it, so uh, It's easy to us. Um, if you do it as often as we do, anything in life becomes easy. It's a sheer practice. Mm -hmm. Right, now, I'm going to add this. Now, this is tamarind. Mm -hmm. And now, it comes in this form here, a dry form. Oh, yes, yes, You've yes. seen this before, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yes. And basically, what you've got to do is, I'll give you a bit to try, because it's very, it is a very interesting taste. Tell it me. is tart. Okay. It's what you call a tart taste. Okay. Mm. Um, What's the Asian word for that? Have imli. Oh, imli, that's the one. Yeah. Imli. imli. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it comes from the pulp oh, of the tamarind tree. You can eat it like this. You can eat it like this. It's actually quite tasty, isn't it? I, there are sweets, mm. tamarind sweets, that you can actually get, which are really tasty. It is like dried fruit. It is. It is. Essentially, that's exactly what it is. So what I've done is I've soaked this in boiled water. I'm going to use my fingers because it's the only way of separating the pulp out and just getting all the juices into the boiled water, which is now cool. Mm. I haven't got asbestos hands, I promise you. Um, and then what we're going to do is literally squeeze that through and just let all of that juice go into the curry. So just the juice? Just the juice, you don't include, that's the pulp that's gone in there. Oh. The juice from the pulp rather, that's the pulp. So that's gone in there. <coughs> and that is going to give it its tartness. I love the colours of, of this kind of cooking. I, just, I love all the different Do you know, colours. the colours of food, food and colours just go so well together and it automatically looks appetising. So, Salwa, if you could just pick up the... How are these? Are they the right size? Yep. Perfect. Pop them in. Couldn't have done them any better okay. myself. Pop them in. Don't burn your fingers. <laughs> That's it. That all goes in. <clears throat> right. Now, always, always, guys, taste your food as you're making it. I'm not very good at doing that. I have to admit. That is exactly where it should be. Mm. <clears throat> and to that now, we're going to add our coconut milk. Okay. So the coconut milk is a can of coconut milk, just any regular coconut milk can go in. So what are you doing here, can we, can you use that in any colour? All that tim, imli and, you know that, what was that thing called? Tamarind. That? All Tamarind, these yeah. spices, yeah. You I can mean, use that in any curry. Well, you can use it in any curry, but it has its own place, doesn't it? Because mm. the moment you add that to the curry, it's you're giving it a tartness thing. that you wouldn't otherwise have maybe in a curry that you wouldn't want the tartness in. Mm. Some curries are sweet, some are slightly yeah. sour. It's exactly what you want from it. Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range.
Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're gonna, this curry is basically done. We're gonna start adding the fish now right at the end because if we'd added it before, it would possibly would have started breaking up. So we've got it at a good time. We're gonna add this and this is just gonna take another five minutes. So how long has this dish taken to cook? Fast, it's actually. taken like 20, 25, minutes. 25 minutes, that's it, yeah. So that can take five minutes now to be done? That's now going to take about five minutes, literally. Wow. Because fish cooks that quickly. Wow. Okay, and we're happy with that. The juices all go in as well. Put the fish juices in too. And we're done. We're good to go. So that's just going to cook now. Right, Salwa, I want to know more about your nasheed. Tell me about how this all started. Because when I introduced you, I said originally, didn't I, that in the beginning that you were originally a, um, a jazz artist. So how did this That's all begin? Right. I was. Um, I, I did a degree in jazz music, so um, when I accepted, music was always, or, or singing was always a large part of my, my life. When I accepted Islam, um, because I was also a songwriter, I started writing nasheeds. I've actually um, composed some with my husband too. Because um, he's we, a nasheed artist, in, of course. Uh, t t together. Mm. Um, and I uh, help him with his English nashi, and uh, he helped me with, with my Urdu. <laughs> and um, I, uh, I did recite one very famous Urdu nashi. Well, they call it hum. Can you give a couple of lines from that? Um, well, the crux is na tera khuda koyorehe, na mera khuda koyorehe, which means neither your god is any other, or mine, nor mine is any other. So the whole nasheed is about unity and not being divided and I just think it's really, really beautiful. That's the meaning. message. That has got to be the inspired message. inspired me a lot, yeah. uh, especially in the beginning. Mm. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to start adding our bits. So you have very nicely chopped your chilies extremely mm. finely. Mm. Could I please have that in this dish? You can just pick it up with your hands. Do you want me to do it? Fine, yes, please. Just it Sprinkle it in or yeah? just throw it in? Yeah, that's fine. Is there a trick to stop your um, fingers, burning. fingers burning when you chop chilies? Yeah, put gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good trick. That is a good trick, actually. Do you know what? You Can just wash have me to. Yes, please. Yeah. You need to wash them straight away. That's the secret. And now I'm going to ask you to sprinkle on top your coriander. Fresh coriander goes in right at the end. That's it. Beautifully done. Look at that. Oh. Look at the colours there and just feel very happy that you'll be eating that in about five minutes. I'm feeling very happy. Can I put it, can, can put it in a takeaway bag for me? <laughs> no, I need to see your reaction right now. Can I have a cut it a take out, please? <laughs> okay, and that will only go with plain rice. There's <clears throat> nothing else that goes with a dish like this. Yeah. So I'm going to now say that this is finished. You see that, right, that ch uh, fish has been in there literally for She's about done. five minutes and it's cooked. And it's ready to serve. Really? So are you guys ready to eat? Definitely, yes. Fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so now you get to taste the fruits of your labour. That smell just makes me your feel... labour. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. We all, we all had a part to play in this, didn't we? Um, this, as I said, just goes with lovely plain rice. There's no other way. Wow. The colours that just come out are amazing. Thank you. Sorry, I've managed to get a bit on the side there. That's really nice. <laughs> You're so not sorry. even able... That's the quietest I've Ow. seen you in the last... <laughs> should have done that from the beginning. I want to work at your curry house. <laughs> I'm going to buy your book. No, honestly, Marshall, it's abs I'm not just saying it. While my guests are enjoying their meal, and it sounds like they are, I'm going to get the kitchen ready now for our head-to-head -head challenge. How round is your roti? Okay, so that part of the show where I get to sit down, put my feet up and watch my guests become contestants now in their head-to-head -head challenge of how round is your roti? Guys, are you prepared? Yes. Okay, so you actually, it's been made easier because you've got your dough already prepared. The mm. only thing you've got to do is roll it out, make it round, stick it on your skillet and cook it. Mm -hmm. The winner is the person that has the roundest roti mm -hmm. and is cooked. Mm -hmm. It's no good having it round and raw. I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yes. Okay. On your marks, yes. get set, go. Bismillah, right. <laughs> okay, first of all, Salwa, have we done this before? 
Um, I have. I can't say they're very round, but yeah. I just noticed how you just put your thumb in the middle there. You know what you're doing. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. She she's got she's an advantage doing. on you. And I'm not saying a woman's always, you know, there for the kitchen. <laughs> sure men have got to help out as well. It's all about give and take, you know what I mean? Turn the heat up before you yeah, put yeah. it on. I know my mum does that, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I just thought... I think you're slapping the life out of that <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> Well done. You know what? Not yeah. bad. Not, oh, oh, but Salman looks like... Oh, my oh. word. Do you know what? That, that is... Uh, that Don't speak too soon. Like Don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. That looks like Mars. <laughs> Yours looks like Australia. <laughs> so I wanted to go there. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. This is a race against oh, time. I like this it, is a yeah. race against time, and yours is but rising. Actually, they're doing well. I have to say. Is it? Yeah, you're doing your you're doing your brothers proud there. <laughs> I think that looks really appetising. Which one? Mine. Yeah. Really? Oh, look! Look oh. there. She's just gone for the next level there. She knows exactly what she's doing. I think you're just copying her. No, because I know you've got to do this, but usually we have that other thing with it. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> we'll leave that for the amateurs. <laughs> Bestos hands going on. Salva, who taught you this? Amazing. Um, Mother-in-law. <coughs> she did a good job. Okay, guys, done? Are we done at the same time? Perfect timing. Do you know what? Salva, hers got here before he's got here before yours. <laughs> <laughs> but she did have further to throw it. But it's not about just getting it here. Right. It's about how round is your roti? Right, right. Okay, so I'm looking, I'm looking here. You know what? I, I'm i impressed. I'm impressed. So am I. So yeah, am I. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you are. <laughs> but let's see the quality of it. The quality of it. Now, look, hers are nice and thin as well. Yeah. So it means that it cooked a lot quicker. Yeah. You're slightly stodgier. Yeah. So need a little bit more cooking inside. I'm not even going to eat it because it needs it to be cooked slightly more. But you know what? Got the round basic shape there. On shape, I think you've probably done it. Well, that's, that's, that's what it was about. The competition was about the shape. You didn't say it was about the quality of oh, the, uh, how cooked it was. You said it was the shape of a chapati. Nice try. So I'm a I... judge in this competition. <laughs> Salwa, based on roundness, roundness you got there as well, <laughs> but the fact that it's cooked and more presentable, Salwa's the winner. <laughs> okay guys, thank you both for joining me on the show. Thank it has you. been fun and I hope you've had as much fun as well. <laughs> and join me next time on For the Love of Food where we get to taste more delicious dishes. Thank you. Slam thank you Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range.